Good day everyone, my name is Arslan and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. So I hope you guys are good, I hope everything is fine on your side. And uh, you know today we have another Fakir video, I am trying to, I'm going to speed up things because uh, this one's uh, a bit uh, long. So um, you know, uh, I hope you guys are safe during the conflict <laughs> that is going on. So um, anyways, um, you know, I was just uh, scrolling around Google and uh, check this out. This is an image that I found. And uh, I have so many tabs open around 30, so please excuse me if there is a background noise in my video because my laptop is burning. Anyways, um, you know, so check this out, guys. Uh, you know, I, I just drove Fakir Liverpool and uh, look at what we have. This is the gallery of Fakad Liverpool, right? I think that's how it's spelled, F-A-C-H-A-D-A. -A. Maybe one of them is silent, but uh, anyways, look at how architecturally beautiful this Fakir is. Look at how beautiful it is, man. Uh, I mean, you know, the creativity which architectural architects have is it's amazing. Look at how beautiful this is. So, you know, this is 3D art, isn't it? You know, like, I mean, an architectural designer is an artist in a way. He's a, a digital artist because look at how beautiful this is. You know, we are, <laughs> excuse me, we'll try to, um, Oh my god, I'm coughing, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, we'll try to uh, replicate this uh, facade inside Revit today, right? It's going to be uh, a fun project. So uh, the first thing is always I opened up a curtain panel and a UN. Let's change this to units and uh, um, symbols to decimal places. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, okay. And uh, this is going to be, um, uh, you know, it's vertically long, right? Uh, because this is what we saw. This is one and a half a ten um all right let's do it the other way man oh uh, uh, 10 and 1 okay and uh, now um we need uh, two points which we are going to place in the middle because we we kind of um we need this um you know uh, everything is going to be clear within a moment uh so let's connect both of these points uh one and uh, two let's connect it by spline and let's change this to a uh, reference line okay done now uh, we need more points and so one is going to be exactly in the middle okay here's the the triangle with the that appeared and one and two and one and two okay now let's uh, click on this okay and uh, let's click on this so let's click on both of them and let's connect it and reference line all right uh in this case um 0 0.75 and uh this is again this is going to be 0 0.75 okay uh, let's connect both of them so spline and uh, reference line okay and uh, this and uh, this is going to be um, 0 0.25 and uh, this is again going to be uh, 0 0.25 okay let's connect both of them by spline and uh, reference line all right so now uh, we kind of uh, need an angle right here which we have to control right so reference line and set and uh, make sure that it is perpendicular to this line so at the top hand uh, 0 0.5 meters okay so 0 0.5 meters and uh, now <laughs> excuse me we have to make sure to uh, you know we are going to make this parametric right for example angular this point and this point and uh, the angle would only set if uh, you choose this as perpendicular, the one that we did at the start. So that's the first point to remember. And the second point is that you have to lock this line onto this axis. So how do we do that? If you press this top circle right here, lock is going to appear. If you press the bottom circle, lock is going to appear. And um, all right, so it's locked. Now, if we grab this angle and uh, we change it into control with parameters, so A and G, L, E, angle one, and uh, let's go for example to this just change this to 45 and uh, check this out this is what I want you to do right so we have displaced the angle but it's still attached to this surface so now it's the same uh, procedure for all reference uh, reference line set and uh, perpendicular to that click on this and uh, talk to 0 0.5 meters <coughs> excuse me and click on this click on the top circle connect and uh, connect here you go and create an angular at one and the second point and this point okay now click on this angle and uh, go into create parameters and uh, a and g uh, a and g l e angle two all right and uh, um, uh, okay so now uh, is the same reference line set 
uh, right here and uh, click on this point and top is 0 0.5 and uh, click on this line uh, click on the circle right here lock and uh, click on the circle right here lock so create angular 1 and 2 and uh, extend it to the top and uh, um, click on this and uh, create parameters and A N G L E angle 3 all right done a reference line set and there are a total of five guys so you know this video has a, a lot of um, you could say repetitions um what was the distance of this let's change to 0 0.5 and uh, now um let's press this to lock it and uh, let's um what it displaced down that is a problem which we usually have reference line set right here click on this and uh, top is going to be 0 0.5 and now this so let's click on that uh, lock and uh, click on that to lock and create an angular and one and two all right so let's click on the angle parameter and this is e n g l e angle four all right this is the fourth angle and the final one last one reference line set uh perpendicular and uh, top and 0 0.5 meters and uh, click on this line click on this circle to lock um, the line onto this axis and create an angular and one and two and uh, let's make this um, dimension let's change this to a n g l e angle five all right uh, all of them are done right um <laughs> uh, one two three four five all right so let's go to this and uh, let's test our parametric um profile one uh 45 45 apply yes check this out we are successful all of them have successfully um, um i mean flipped right according to the angle that we gave it um although you know what guys i think uh we might have a little no we do not have any problems everything are successfully displaced right so we are perfect um, I thought um, we do but we don't so it's perfect right uh, so this is the progress until now so let's go back to this and uh, 90 90 90 90 90 now we need uh, a profile okay so a rectangle polygon and uh, a four-sided polygon is in a way uh, a rectangle right so click on this click on this point go to the top click on that and the tab to bring it a bit right here and uh, tab again to bring it a bit right here and now we need to control the width of this so di the first thing is the constraint let's uh, set uh, a constraint equal okay so now both of these sides are going to be equal now one and a two and uh, bring it to the top so let's uh, so this is going to be our REC T A N G um, R E C T A N G L E rectangle W I D T H rectangle width or profile width. Okay, it's gonna, it can be anything. So let's uh, set this to uh, zero point two. Uh, apply. Yes, perfect. So check this out. And you know, <laughs> excuse me, when we were making this. Uh, this was the reference plane that we had set so it is gonna flip when we flip the angle for example if we flip this by 45 and uh, Even this triangle uh, rectangle is gonna flip right so this is what we want to make sure you remember all of these points when you're following the video These small tips and tricks and you're gonna learn so many things from this video if you concentrate um, Okay, so now uh, we have said that now bring it to the top all right, and uh, for example um bring it right here and uh, bring this right here and the uh, di so one and two and uh, three all right equal and uh, one and two and uh, equal all right so now uh, let's click on this and let's uh, go to rectangle width all right perfect so this is again we have to repeat the same thing again so rectangle polygon set on this line and click on this and click on this and uh, uh, tab to click on that and uh, tab to click on that and the uh, di so one and two and uh, three and um, this is what is this going to be equal right and one and uh, no this is the, we selected the wrong one so di one and two top 
and uh, now we click on this we go to rectangle all right perfect uh, it's not hard you know uh, but uh, although I've done this so many times uh, before you know recording the tutorial so set again and um, click on that and back to this so and you know if we for example do not separate this we usually um, sometimes we have this sort of an error because it kind of joins that line so that's why I'm doing it a di so one and two and the three uh, set the equal constraint all right the constraint is set now one and a two bring it to the top now let's click on this let's go to that rectangle width and 0 0.20 all right perfect uh, last one a uh, rectangle polygon set uh, set to this and uh, top okay that is set uh, tab all right uh, tab all right di so one and a two and a three are uh, equal and one and a two all right so now uh, let's click on this rectangle and perfect so all of these profiles are made now we have to make the actual you know the the aluminum plank right uh, for example if you check this out these are in a way planks right but they're made from aluminum or some other material and they're not wooden planks so if we click on this and uh, if we make it so check this out this is our profile believe it or not look at that and uh, now um, for example if we go to our family types and uh, this one we can set it to zero uh, the last one can of course be angle five can be zero angle two can be 20 angle three can be what 40 and angle four can be 20 apply and check this out guys perfect so but um you know angle three how about 80 it is not flipped that much isn't it yes this is what i wanted um so check this out guys this is the profile it's made already right so file uh, new and conceptual mass and uh, mass all right so the first thing is always uh, the units uh, you know first of all let's uh, let's draw <laughs> excuse me let's draw a line uh, so the units is uh, un and uh, meters 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 two decimal places meters okay okay and uh, let's go to so this is the line right uh, how about we go to 30 uh, because uh, you know you guys remember the side right it was uh, 10 meters it was 1 meter by 10 meters so it means 30 are going to fit and uh, this is going to be um 10 all right now if we go to this and uh, device surface and uh okay we can even simply do it right here so um this is going to be one and uh, 30 meters so 30 right so this is it this is the the profile that we have made now if we simply go to patterns and uh family 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 okay we haven't even loaded that in uh so load family and uh if you click on this now now patterns patterns and uh, family three what uh i think uh, it's fine it's fine we need to rotate y90 apply and check this out guys we are done look at how beautiful it is wait let me fix this a little bit uh show smooth and uh, the shadows one and uh, two after that let's enable sketchy lines and uh you know let's bring it about more and uh, death king lightning and uh, for the lightning let's go to top left and uh photographic background let's go to sky okay and uh, check this out guys so this is our profile and uh, you know it kind of looks a bit uh, dull in this for example you go to file <laughs> new and uh, project and uh, architectural template and uh come on come on come on quickly and uh, load uh, this into our project uh, two okay let's uh, find let's uh, paste it right here let's go to 3d view let's close all inactive views let's press escape and uh, let's go to right here so uh, graphic display smooth lines and uh, activate both of these shadows let's go to enable sketchy lines let's go to photographic exposure let's go to background let's set it to sky okay okay let's go to massing and sight uh, turn off so this is it guys look at how perfect our profile has become and uh, it looks beautiful you know so uh, we have successfully made the liverpool uh, fat kid uh, the one that I initially showed you right and uh, look at how beautiful it is and you know everything <coughs> excuse me everything is within our control all right for example if you go back to level one uh, close all inactive views or if you go to this 
so everything is within our control i mean if you click on this we go to type and these are all the angles so 80 we can even convert this to 100 and uh, apply and it's gonna automatically change on that side so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you learned something from it and uh, this was the the liverpool facade f-a-c-h-a-d all right so have a good day and uh bye-bye